Hi everyone, Happy New Year, even though it's nearing the end of January. Anyways, it's been about a year since I made my last vlog, so this time I thought I'd take you on a trip with me to both New York and Boston. So I'm going to both of these places to audition for collaborative piano programs in uh, two summer festival programs, Aspen and Bowdoin. This is the first time I'm auditioning for something this legit and I am a little excited but really quite terrified because this week I'm probably going to be working and playing with some of the best violinists and cellists I have ever met in my life. So I guess we'll see what happens. My sister's apartment in New York and right now I just need a good night of sleep well, for the past week I've just been waking up like two hours before my alarm and I'm not quite sure why but hopefully now that I come here uh, I'll get some better sleep we'll see about that yeah, so I'll see how I feel tomorrow. The only plan I have for that afternoon is going to the studio where I'm having the Aspen audition. I'm, I booked one of their practice rooms so I could uh, get one last bit of practice and rehearsal done before the real thing on Saturday. <laughs> So I'm at the rehearsal studio where I'm going to be auditioning for Aspen and this is called the Mahler Room and up here on the wall isn't just random music it's actually from what I think is the Adagio movement from Mahler's Fifth Symphony which is so cool. So yeah this is a great place to be. I brought my uh, performance shoes so I can get the feel of those uh, while I press the pedal on my iPad and here we go. Here's to three hours of practice in here. finished going through every single one of my audition pieces for both festivals and it seems like things are generally in shape. Um, there's just some mishaps with the foot pedal and I think the conclusion is probably that I'm not going to be using that for the audition. I'm just going to see if I can ask someone to just turn the pages manually on the iPad because I do not want to deal with any more risk factors <laughs> other than the unpredictability of my own playing. So yeah, I will see if they will uh, be gracious enough to give me a page turner. <laughs> yeah, otherwise it seems like things are generally in order. I just had to figure out a few parts and we'll just we'll see what happens in the next few days. This is the world's best cookie. Now let's look. Let's make it like a. Oh shit. Look. <laughs> wow. That's yours. <laughs> So this afternoon I finished my audition for Aspen. 
I'd say overall, I think it went well. Uh, there's just this one unfortunate glitch in the slow section of the Beethoven cello sonata where I was uh, playing my trill in the right hand and the cellist didn't come in for her entrance until much later. And I'm not sure if it's because the notes I was playing in my left hand weren't clear enough. Maybe she didn't hear them. Uh, but yeah, uh, I just had to figure something out. Eventually we did, we did uh, end up playing together. Uh, so there's that. But the Brahms Violin Sonata and the Tchaikovsky Violin Couture that I played later with two violinists, I thought that went pretty well. I'm pretty glad with how I performed in those. Uh, so there was something good that came out of the audition. There was no one to page turn, I had to use the foot pedal, uh, which was fine because uh, they didn't listen to a whole lot of my playing. Uh, there was also absolutely no time to even like talk with any of the musicians beforehand. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of just like a trial by fire kind of situation right there. Um, but for Bowden, I do get to rehearse with two violinists the day before the audition. So we'll try to make the most out of the uh, rehearsal time I have with them and we'll just see how this one compares <laughs> to uh, today's audition. Good morning everyone. It is currently 7 30 and we are heading out to a town called Beacon to fulfill Isabel's hiking dreams. Yay! Ever since she we went to Pinnacles she's been having this dream of hiking that she never got to fulfill in her last week in Cali. Yeah, because it was raining. <laughs> so we're doing it now. The, the ground here because I I don't want to. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I think this is a, a good milestone. Yeah, two hours. Now two. Okay, probably less than two hours going down. But oh god, it's so cold. All right. <laughs> I am back in my sister's apartment after what probably was the hardest hike that I've ever been on. Uh, there's just a bunch of rocks all over the hill and it was just such a pain, literal pain in the knee, just trying to traverse them as we were going down the hill. Oh my god. Isabel's legs have officially died. Um, mine haven't yet. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow morning. But I can tell you, uh, early tomorrow morning, I am going to take the Amtrak over uh, to Boston. So there will be a good three hours of rest where I don't have to walk or anything, which is good. And tomorrow night, I will be going to the New England Conservatory to rehearse with the two violinists. Uh, so uh, looking forward to that and hoping that uh, I leave somewhat of a good impression. We will see.
friend's place in Boston. And last night I finally got the chance to rehearse with the two violinists from the New England Conservatory. The maturity in their sound and their interpretation of the music was really quite incredible. I've never seen anything like it. And they were also so accommodating. Both of them said they would try to follow me, which did seem kind of counterintuitive at first, but then reminded me of something my teacher Betty said, was that uh, when you're collaborating with professional top musicians, they actually want you to lead them rather to follow them. So they definitely gave me a lot to think about before my audition for Bowden this evening. So I will keep trying to listen to recordings and kind of gauge what kind of tempos, what kind of sounds I want to bring out uh, during the performance. Uh, but for today, I will be meeting an old friend from Berkeley. Uh, I'm going uh, up to Cambridge to see him. He is a PhD in MIT and an excellent pianist. And I look forward to seeing him after about like four and a half years or something. I never saw him after he graduated Berkeley. I will be heading out soon and hopefully I will survive this cold weather. It snowed earlier this morning. I don't know what's it gonna be like outside. I'm a spoiled Cali boy. Oh God. <laughs> Cambridge with the best pianist MIT has to offer, <laughs> William Wong. <laughs> yeah, William inspired me to study with uh, my piano teacher Betty and now I am here. So thank you. Yes, thank you for coming. <laughs> yeah, thank you for showing me around MIT. I feel like a true uh, member of elite society now. And we'll let you know if I happen to get an opportunity to play. Over here. To see your, yeah. Your yeah. Uh, your yeah. And let me know if you have any, so I can I can come over too. <laughs>
everyone. I'm back in New York. Uh, I've actually been back for about a couple days, um, but last night I went out to dinner with uh, my sister and my teacher Betty. And after that, we went over to Zenkel Hall in Carnegie Hall to watch Yuliana of Diva's debut recital. It was absolutely amazing getting to see her perform in person after the past couple of years being in the pandemic. Uh, seeing her uh, live stream video series on Bach's Well-Tempered Clavier as well as various uh, composers' other works. Yeah, the kind of sound and colors that she gets out of the piano are absolutely incredible. And I really love the sensitivity that she puts in playing the soft parts of the music. It was really otherworldly. And when she plays loudly, it's never bangy. Like there is an exquisite control to her power. And my friend and I were actually talking about kind of her signature move where like whenever she was about to play something climactic, her arm just goes down like this. It was absolutely amazing to watch every single time. I think the programming for her recital was also very thoughtful. Uh, she included works by the Polish pianist uh, Spielmann, as well as the Russian composer Weinberg, both of whom suffered absolutely horrible political and humanitarian atrocities during and after World War II. And I think this programming really testifies to how she's not only an extraordinary pianist, but a wonderful human being. After a concert, we were so incredibly lucky to get to meet her outside of Carnegie Hall. And that's when I got her to sign both my program and book one of Boss Well Tempered Clavier. Yeah, so I think her debut recital was really the fantastic conclusion to my musical journey here. Uh, I came here a little scared, uh, but I think this whole trip just made me really fall in love with the concept of traveling through music. I got to meet some of the best musicians I've worked with in my entire life. I got to meet friends both old and new, and throughout the whole journey just got to enjoy some incredible music. And after my very first audition cycle, I feel like I've actually gained a little confidence in my playing and I feel like maybe there's actually something in the world of classical music for me. <laughs> so I would be, I would do anything just to be able to do a trip like this again. Maybe again in the East Coast or outside of the US, maybe somewhere in Europe because I've never been to Europe before. We'll keep you posted if I ever do make a trip like this again. Uh, but thank you for watching and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I will, I will be posting uh, some other videos this year, uh, so stay tuned. Bye-bye.